So over the course of the last two videos, I showed you writing your own enumerator so that you can return my enumerator. But again, never ever do this. You can use yield return. In fact, that's what we did before we wrote our own enumerator. We simply said for tab, 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 tab. And I, I less than count, enter. And I don't like curly braces when I don't need them. Yield return items sub I. All of that work that I just deleted, replaced by a simple for loop with the yield return. And then you can see I've, I've simplified our main again. I just said, give me a list of party ages, add everybody, and then let's enumerate them. Control F5, there's our output. And in C Sharp 3.0, they actually added a syntax. I know I've shown this in previous videos, but essentially I don't need to say add, 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 add. I can just say new me list, open curly, open curly, semicolon, alt drag, delete all of that, alt drag, put commas here, and then the compiler will call add for us. Let me control KD, that doesn't do anything. Don't blink. There you go, I formatted it nice. So that's that simplifies the syntax a lot more. I say new me list, and then here are the items I want to add to the list. And I'm actually going to go as far as saying var out here just to make this more readable, which is nice because if I want to change something on on the left or the right, then I have to, like if I want to change me list from int to char, then I have to remember to come over here and do it to char. But if I come over here and say var, then I only have one place to change it. And the compiler will infer the compile time type of me list and replace the var with me list like so. This is all syntactic sugar. In fact, when I say new me list, and I put the items right here. The compiler just turns around and says, oh, okay, I'll call add for you. Okay, the compiler simply replaces that nice short syntax with the add for us, but I like the nice short syntax because that's easy to read. But did you notice the red squiggly hanging out here? Cannot initialize type me list with collection initializer because it does not implement system.collections.i enumerable. And I've pushed a video out on this about what makes something i enumerable. I think it's in my link videos, but essentially if something's going to be a container, the way we flag that is by adding another interface up there saying i enumerable. It's going to be I enumerable of T. Now we've been looking at I enumerator through the course of these videos and I've mentioned very little about I enumerable, but to be perfectly correct, I should have had I enumerable up here the entire time. I wanted to show you that for each does not require I enumerable. It simply requires a get enumerator, which returns an I enumerator. So I hope you're scratching your head a little bit thinking, what's the difference between I enumerable and I enumerator. Well, let me draw our sequence again. We have my party ages is 25, 34, and 32. So I'll draw our sequence. It's a list in this case, but it could be any sort of sequence. 25, 34, 32. This list, this container, is enumerable. Okay, I can get an enumerator, and I can step through it, just like we saw in previous videos. And so this is enumerable. Okay, maybe we have a linked list, which is similar to a list, except it's linked, and we'll, we'll, we'll see this in a future video. But here's 25, 34, 32. Here are our links. We can get an enumerator, and it will walk this. So our linked list is enumerable. But the guy that actually does the walking or the iterating is the enumerator. And we can have several enumerators. I showed that in the previous video in this playlist as well. Here's another enumerator would start at the sentinel value, but he could walk independently of the other enumerator. So these enumerators walk through the sequence or the container, which is enumerable. Let's go look at the iEnumerable interface. If I click here, hit F12, Enumerable, it's real simple. All it does is return a numerator. Okay, go figure. If I have a sequence, and I want to walk through that sequence, and this sequence will be I enumerable, then it needs to return an I enumerator, and that I enumerator is the guy that can walk through the sequence. So that's essentially the difference between I enumerable and I enumerator back in our code. If I'm going to have a get enumerator, I should be I enumerable. And now that we have I enumerable, C Sharp considers this me list to be a container class. The presence of I enumerable simply tells the compiler, hey, I'm a sequence, go ahead and I'll support this syntax. And so the compiler will do the dot add, dot add, dot add for every one of the items down there. Control F5, of course there's build errors. 
The reason why we're getting build errors is I did not perfectly implement I enumerable. If I F12 on that, you'll notice that I enumerable, the generic version, as always, implements the non-generic version. Oh, why Microsoft? Why didn't you release .NET without generics? We got this barnacle, the sin we just can't get rid of. It's following us throughout the years. If I F12 on I enumerable, it returns a non-generic I enumerator. Oh. How nasty, how nasty. But we're not completely left in the dark because if you remember, if I click on iEnumerator, the generic version, it implements the non-generic version. So I can actually go back here, control dot, please Visual Studio, implement the interface for me. Visual Studio is smart and realizes, hey, you already have the generic version. I'll just throw in this non-generic version for you. I'll take this stuff off though and control dot and add a using for it. And then this is explicit implementation of the interface. Go watch my interface videos if you want to learn more about that. But here I can just say, you know what, return get enumerator. And just like we saw with current in the previous video or two, this get enumerator will resolve to this get enumerator. I enumerator, the generic version, implements the non-generic version. So now the compiler's happy. Control shift B, it builds, build succeeds. We're being good, we're implementing I enumerable. That also allows us to use this shorthand syntax. Control F5, uh, 25, 34, 32, 25, 34, 32.